Akasan's honest reactions, Akasan. Uh, one more for tonight before I call it a night here. Uh, honest reactions. Thor writer watches Thor honest trailer. Should be very good because obviously uh, some of my favorite honest trailers has been uh, the uh, Thor Thor uh, the Thor honest trailers and such. So let us uh, react here to an honest reaction. Oh, honest reactions. That's my title. Brain junkies, switching back and forth here. All right, let's get it on. Go. What's going on, guys? You know what? We've got a VIP in the house, so let's get right to it. He is the screenwriter of Thor, X-Men First Class, oh. and the upcoming Power Rangers film, Zack Stenz. Zack, thank you for being here, sir. I didn't know there was an actual I Power Rangers movie. I all those works with my writing partner, Ashley Edward Miller. I'm a screenwriter, not the screenwriter. Gotcha. Ashley Edward Miller, we're calling you out. Come in here. And, uh, no, you're welcome anytime, Ashley, and we're big fans. You actually agreed to watch the Honest Trailer with the creators of the Thor Honest Trailer. Reacception. I am excited about that. You see, like, Michael Corleone, my hand isn't shaking. So, um, Zach, uh, Thor. I don't get it. pressure was there to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and get that right? There was a lot of pressure, but the interesting thing is they already knew at that point we're building towards the Avengers. They said, guys, if you fail at everything else, give us a villain as good as Magneto. The thing that made Loki so close to our heart as a villain was that if you looked at the events of Thor from his perspective, he was the hero. He was the one who was saving the kingdom from his hot-headed brother who wasn't ready. To his great credit, that was that huh. was something that uh, that Kenneth Branagh was was very much down Good with. Good point. You know, at the end of the day, what we always said we were doing is we were telling a story about two boys who both want their father to love them. Were there any other mandates or just? Uh, thoughts from Marvel that we need this to happen. The problem that we kept encountering is that Thor didn't really have a force of opposition working against him when he was on Earth. What we were pushing was to have S.H.I.E.L.D. be the force of opposition. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of skepticism. That was such a good scene though with Coulson. They were like, well, but S.H.I.E.L.D. are the good guys. And that was something that they went from being skeptical about mm -hmm. to really getting on board with. At the time, they were still renegotiating uh, Sam Jackson's uh, contract. Mm -hmm. And we said, well, how about Coulson? He was he was really cool in the first Iron yeah. Man movie. And Son of Coal. Kind of popped and you know we we ended up putting all kinds of Easter eggs in like a, you know a sniper a shield sniper named Barton. I, I think what we're most proud of was mm -hmm. the fact that as we said going in, there are a lot of different ways of making a bad Thor movie. Yeah, there are only a couple of ways of making a good Thor movie of making something that's True. not ridiculous and campy. I and need a horse. Uh, Golan Globus, uh, Masters of the Universe movie. Yes. Um, and I'd like to think that we found one of the good ways. So, Zach, we are very excited to watch the Thor Honest trailer with you. But first, I have to say, it's been a long <laughs> Now, watch this shit get ripped uh, up. Getting you along a winding the road. Yes. I, I was, you know, I was going for a different 60s band, but <laughs> I like yours uh, better. So, uh, you kind of uh, got on our radar with this tweet, and uh, I'll, I'll just read it, and we can okay. uh, let me know your Try not to be too embarrassed. Go ahead. <laughs> you shouldn't be. So you tweeted, fair warning, if you link to one of these insufferable honest trailers videos, I will unfollow you. Wow, I must have been in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> I was unfairly lumping you guys together with some other people who I will not, will not mention by name here. And after I got in the dialogue with you guys, I, I went back and watched a bunch of watched a bunch of honest trailers uh -huh. again. And what I what I realized about you guys is that there is it's like yes, you take your shot sometimes, but that there's a real love for the material behind. I wonder which one he's talking about though. Now I want to see the the one that he's maybe everything wrong with maybe. Spruce Cinema Sense maybe. Okay? I can't wait. Andy Signor, the creator hey, of Honest Let me know if you guys know who he's Andrew, talking about. I would like to see that shit. Hey, Spencer Gilbert, uh, he is the writer. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's just get on with this shit. Let's go. Alright. Prepare for a film that only exists so non-nerds will recognize the blonde guy in the Avengers. 
film. <laughs> We've seen great superhero films. You've seen terrible superhero films. Now, prepare for a superhero film. That's just kinda... Eh. I mean, I guess they did the best they could adapting a comic book about a bratty space god. Yeah, I mean, I kinda said that. <laughs> well, that's not shocked! He's an idiot demigod prince with a magical hammer that really needs to buy a vow. You wanna do that? You wanna do Meow, meow? Okay, so you gotta stop, gotta, okay. gotta pause here. Yeah. Kenneth Branagh actually is like, you know, there. It's like, that's just hard to say. <laughs> like, can we name it something else? Would the fanboys string me up if we did that? Yes. Like, yes. Yes, yeah. and they would. <laughs> okay, we shan't be doing that. <laughs> Meet Loki, Thor's evil stepbrother, who will stop at nothing to betray his adopted father with the help of his real father in order to betray his real father to impress his adopted father. <laughs> that makes even less sense than his plan from the Avengers. Not a great plan. What was it? Wait, 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 wait. So what was Loki's plan? Loki's plan all along was to was to essentially lure the frost giants in and kill them to to impress Odin. It's all about impressing Dad at the uh, that he's the that he's the worthy one at the at the end of the day. I I would say the Avengers plan, where the third act consists of him riding a jet ski. Um, through Manhattan, while everyone else does the fighting, um, you know, I, I, I think ours compares pretty favorably to that. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang! Odin, Thor and Loki's dad, who pretty much guarantees that one of his kids will grow up to resent the other. Only one of you can ascend to the throne, but both of you were born to be king. See, this is all true. We referred to uh, Odin as uh, the Fred Sanford of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> and that, no, seriously, he treats his sons not so well, and when one of them calls him on his shit, he pretends to, uh, he, he feigns illness. <laughs> you know? Elizabeth, I'm coming to tell you. Pretty good, it's the big one. Starring Thunder from Down Under, Pokemon, The Godfather, Idris Elbo. Lord Zed from Power Rangers, oh, oh, oh. and Portmandia, Thor's obligatory movie. So, Loki dies at the end and comes back to life by the end of the credits? That's gotta be some kind of record. What was the end credit scene? Was that did you help with that, or was that done after you? That was done after that. Yeah. Was, you I think Joss with... might have. I think Joss might have directed that. Mm. You know, but it was always going to. You know, it was always going to end with with you know Loki seems to be lost, and then it's like, oh no, there he is. Well, I just want to thank you for yes. coming. For, for oh God, so yeah. uh, okay. Uh, all right, it wasn't as uh, shocking as I thought, or whatever. But they're very humble church. about it. Yes, <laughs> honest trailer. We all yes. really like Thor. I really like Thor. Oh, I think too. You had a really Sold tough job up. of making that guy relatable in the universe. Yes, did a absolutely. Job. Absolutely. Guys, what movie do you want to see Zach Spence right next? Uh, tell us in the Akasan, comments. Akasan, the movie. Best answer. We'll send you a Screen Junkies t-shirt. Again. Just make me fuck bitches all day. I'll drop the hammer. You want me to drop the hammer? Alright, thank you, Zach. Thank you, Screen Junkies. How all you guys? Pretty fucking funny shit, though, for reals. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to sleep, probably. Peace, guys. I'm always picking up after you, boys. We can tear them apart. Oh, 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 oh. From the inside.